Thanks for having my back. You know this for life. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Von back again with another video. And now, no, we're not covering a power video. Today, we're going to be covering BMF Season 3, What to Expect. Now, not much is really said about, you know, the updating of when it's going to return, but we do have the plot so far. Now, show, the showrunner of the series named Heather Zulk, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, she said that what you are going to see is the fallout and somatically of all of the characters are in a season of reinvention across the board. And what she means by reinvention, she means by all the favorite characters. And we're going to be seeing the reinvention of One Pump Charles, Caked Up Lucille, Big Meech, Left Eye Terry, Aggravative Detective Bryant, and Nosy Ass Detective Jim. So we're going to be seeing all the reinventions with those characters. There's going to be a lot of consequences, but you're going to see everything dramatized moving forward, in her words. Now, if you guys don't remember, let's do a little bit of recap. Now, last season in season two, we left off with a cliffhanger with... Obviously, Terry and Markeisha being shot at by um, DC Young Fly's character by the name of Saint. They ended up being shot at. And we don't know if Terry got shot or if Markeisha got shot. So we're kind of being on the lookout for that. And also, Meech is obviously in Atlanta now. So he's no longer in Detroit. He's continuing the BMF legacy out there. And it's going to be interesting to see how everything is going to be. Because Goldie had went on a run or tried to disappear after everything that happened at her club. So... And also the death of her sister, so it's going to be interesting to see how everything unfolds the way it does, because last season we saw how the Flannery, the Flannery brothers were struggling within the drug game. You see them lose things, you see them gain things, and you see them experience tragic losses like losing Saki, losing Tiny, losing Nito to obviously Lamar. Happy feelings in the air! <laughs> You've seen them lose a lot of everything, so it's going to be interesting to see them, you know, re kind of regain all of that back during the reinventions of the characters. Now, season three is going to be showing a lot of newer characters, like how last season did with the introduction of K-9, Goldie, um, who else am I missing? If I think I'm missing somebody, but let me know <laughs> whoever I missed that, we, that was uh, introduced in season two that was an important, you know, character. Oh, Todd Washington. Um... But this season is going to be showing a lot of newer characters. For example, you're going to be seeing 2 Chains and Neo appear as newer characters. Now, 2 Chains, he's going to be playing an Atlanta-based distributor by the name of Stax. And Neo is going to be an Atlanta player in the drug game with an entrepreneurial spirit. Kind of like how Todd Washington was. Now, we left off with a serious cliffhanger with how Lamar ended up. And I still think it's stupid of how he ended up. Even though I know the character is loosely based off of Leighton Simon, I don't know if Leighton Simon became an addict or a fiend after, you know, his prime of being in the drug world. I don't know. But I feel like his ending was kind of stupid. But if they wanted to they wanted to give it a little bit of realization, I kind of thought that was dumb. But then again, if it was kind of loosely based off of what really happened, then I'm not going to be mad at that. You know, personally, I would have preferred Meech to kill Lamar, but I know they want to do more with Lamar's character. So, you know, this ain't going to be the last we see of Lamar. It's definitely not. And with B. Mickey obviously being dismissed by, you know, Meech from not being in the game, we don't know how B. Mickey is going to, you know, end up. And we know B. Mickey is based off of D. Meeks, which is who's totally the opposite of how B. Mickey is betrayed. But we don't know how, you know, what B. Mickey is going to be doing in the next coming season. As well as, you know, how Detective Brian is going to be doing or Detective Jen, you know, along with Lucille, Charles and their sister, everything. So it's going to be interesting to see everything unfold. And also K-9 because K-9 is still in jail. We don't know if he's going to be released or not. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to unfold during the next course of the season. But everybody that's been watching, make sure y'all tune in. Hit that like button, smash, comment, like all that good stuff. And if y'all want to see more BMF videos, just let me know. And yes, I will be coming back with another power video for everybody that's going to be going crazy about it. Yes, I'm coming back with a new power video, so hold your horses. So, yeah, but everybody that's been watching, you know, do all that stuff. Your boy Von out. Peace.
What's up now, bitches?